Your friends, friends, they can wait they chin And Kung Fu, we can dance, we can kick the shit Like Kung Fu, give you half of my everything What's up you guys, it's your girl Shay So I promised you guys that I would put out a video Talking about one of the my chronic health conditions that I have been dealing with for several years and here it is. So just to let you guys know that um, when it comes to health these things are really hard to talk about because it's personal and I don't know about everybody else but I don't have time for the judgment you know it's bad enough that I'm dealing with a chronic condition but to hear people talking crap and you know just making you feel bad when you already feel bad is just not something that I want to deal with people are just really mean and just some of the things that I've seen um, <laughs> other people go through is just not it's just not cool and I, I just I don't need that right now what I need is support you know if you're here to get some information to go and you know use it to just be rude or whatever then you got you can just leave right now because that's just not what I need I, I need my supporters that have my back I need the ones that rock with me and the ones that genuinely care so with that being said my condition that I've been dealing with is diabetes type 2 um, I was di diagnosed with diabetes type 2 in February of 2017 so I noticed that in January of 2017 I was feeling super tired I was always thirsty I was just feeling off and then I noticed that my vision was changing I made an appointment so when I went to my appointment of course I was super nervous and you know they ask you a lot of questions and so my doctor at the time was like okay the best thing for us to do is some blood work and so she did like a full checkup and then they did some blood work um one of the tests that they did besides the glucose test so the glucose test is basically to test the sugar levels in your blood pretty much and so the test that they another test that they did was called an a1c the a1c test measures your average blood sugar levels and so i got the results back from that test and she called me and told me that my a1c was high it was at a 10 which is was which is really high and she basically said you have diabetes type 2 and i was shocked um i was really upset because everybody that knows me and watches my channel knows I am a foodie I love to eat I love sweets I'm a foodie and so I knew that this was going to be a problem and so I made another appointment I went into um, the doctors and she pretty much gave me a couple of prescriptions and one of the prescriptions was for a medication called metformin you guys, I started taking that medication and at this time I was working for a corporate company and I had a really important job and I was a credentialing manager and I needed to be on my stuff. Like I had, my boss did not play, he was serious and you know I had to go to a lot of meetings, I had to coordinate meetings, I had to, you know, I had a team that worked under me that um, I was responsible for and I had to make sure you know that I was doing my part to make sure that our company was running successfully and so um, there was a lot of meetings that I had to go to and I just remember now I just remember being in those meetings and I was just out of it I was like a zombie I remember being tired I remember being thirsty and having to run to the bathroom all the time and then you add the medication in and the medication just pretty much just made me even more zombie like like I just really didn't have any emotion I just really didn't care I just remember like just kind of dragging around all the time it was just hard I just remember that was in 2017 and I just remember just always always being tired and just not having energy to do anything so once I got that diagnosis I knew that I had to eat better and so initially I was like okay I'll just throw in some salads and things like that I'll be fine and I did that 
wasn't feeling better. I was on that medication for about a year before I talked to my doctor and told her that I don't think this medication is good for me. It's, you know, it's not making me feel good. And what had happened was, and I know you're never supposed to do this, so don't ever stop taking a medication cold turkey. But that's what I did. I stopped taking the medication, but I noticed that after I stopped taking the medication, I was feeling a little bit better. So I told my doctor and she was just like, oh, you know, just give it a little, you know, try it a little bit more or try taking a little bit um, longer and then, you know, we'll see, you know, if that medica if it's really the medication. Since you stopped taking it, start taking it again and see if it was really the medication. So went back to the doctor or whatever and she was like, okay, just let's let's cut the medication in half. So they lowered the doses on the medication and so I was taking that but I still wasn't feeling any better. So I, um, like I was saying earlier, I incorporated, you know, some salads here and there but I never really officially stopped eating all the things that I was eating before like I would cut a little thing out here and there eat a little less of something but I never really stopped eating all that stuff you know I was still eating spaghetti I was still eating candy I was still eating all that stuff and it just wasn't helping me so fast forward to January of 2021 this year I got super super sick and I ended up going to the emergency room when I went to the emergency room, my A1C was high. My there was so my my blood sugar, my glucose was 300. And you guys, if you guys know anything about diabetes, 300 is really high and not something that you guys want to mess around with. And so actually no, that's not what happened. I didn't go to, straight to the emergency room that time. I actually went to urgent care. And when I went to the urgent care, he tested my blood sugar and he was like, you need to go to the emergency room right now. So I go to the emergency room and then that's how they found out, you know, I explained to them what my um, A1C and all that stuff was. I brought my um, results over from the urgent care and I actually didn't go to the emergency care from urgent care. It was actually about a week before I went. And so then I went or whatever and um, that's when, you know, they told me, they were like, look, you got to get serious about this. They were like, your blood sugar is too high. Your A1C is too high. And on top of that, you have high blood pressure. So now we're talking heart attack, stroke, you know, pancreas not working. So I decided I needed to get better for myself because I have, I have these three sons that I'm pretty much all they have. You know, my, both my parents died and I'm pretty much it for them and so I decided that I needed to get my life together and so it is June 6th from January to June 6th you guys I have completely changed my life what I eat is different what I drink is different I used to go to Starbucks every single day and get all these sweet drinks and don't get me wrong I still go to Starbucks but I get decaf and you know non sweetened drinks just black coffee pretty much and throw a little cream in it but um, I eat salads I don't eat any pork I don't eat red meat I pretty much eat salad fish um, ground turkey um, I don't eat I barely eat carbs like I don't eat rice I don't eat potatoes I don't eat pasta I pre I pretty much have completely changed my life and since January, I've lost about seven pounds and um, I just drink water. <laughs> I drink water and I mean, it is what it is. Um, you get these diagnoses and it's, it's hard, especially for somebody like me who loves food. I mean, a lot of my channel has to do with me cooking and you know making delicious recipes for you guys and not saying that what I have what I'm doing now I can't incorporate that into my channel because there's still some delicious things that I make I just had to alter a lot of things and cut out you know salt and you know things like that but that's it you guys it's I've been wanting to talk to you guys about it for a while, but like I said, it's just, you don't want to get judged. You don't want people to look down on you and say, 
oh, you know, it's your fault that you got into this situation. You know, you were eating bad, which I know it's my fault, but you know, nobody wants to hear all that stuff. I've already heard it from the doctor. I, you know, know what I need to do. And this time I'm going to take it serious because, you know, I need to be here for my kids. And just to, to anybody out there that is dealing with diabetes type 2, know that this condition can be reversed if you eat healthy and, you know, take your medication, drink your water, and just take care of your body and make sure you incorporate exercise. That's another thing I forgot to tell you guys. I have been doing yoga. I have been doing lots of walks um, in the little trail by my house. So I'm getting better, but I'm also dealing with some other health issues too um, that we will discuss at a later time but this is the major thing that I was dealing with and I know there are a lot of people out there that deal with diabetes type 2 and I just wanted to tell you guys my story and to just let you guys know that you know diabetes it's not the end of the world as I thought when I first got diagnosed um, don't get me wrong it is hard it is hard every day because I love me some donuts your girl loves donuts and I can't eat donuts anymore and it sucks but you know it is what it is you got to give up some stuff to live longer and to be healthy and but my health is more important than what those sweets and all that stuff can do to my body and so I'm still a work in progress it's hard or whatever but I'm doing so much better you guys um, I have some energy today to record this video and I just wanted to let you guys know what my story is and what I've been dealing for, with for the last couple years. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can please let me know down in the comments. You guys can DM me on Instagram or email me. My information will be in the description. And thank you guys so much for listening to this. I hope this video wasn't boring and too long for you guys. But I love you. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Know that your time is so precious. Hope that you know I respect it. I really do feel your perspective. Missing the feeling, the taste of your nectar.